Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to create a double headed arrow in Adobe Photoshop. We're going to save it as a custom shape so we can use it anytime we like. I'm going to start with a new file and because I want quite a long arrow, I'm making a document 2000 pixels by 500. I'll click create. Now I'm going to use an existing custom shape so I'm going to the custom shapes tool here. I'm going to use a legacy custom shape. If you don't have the legacy custom shapes available, go to Window and then Shapes. Click the Fly Out menu here and choose Legacy Shapes and More, and that'll get you back all the old shapes that used to be shipped with Adobe Photoshop. Let's just go to the layers here. So I'm going to again select my custom shape, and from the legacy shapes, I'm going to use one of these arrows as the basis for my double headed arrow. This one's really attractive. I like it, so I'm going to use it. Now, it's really important before you draw this out that you actually select shape from the shape menu here. I have a fill, no stroke. That's perfect. I'm going to hold down the shift key as I draw out my arrow. That just draws it in its original proportions because it is a really nicely shaped arrow. Now I'm going to display my layers palette. I'm going to right click this layer and choose duplicate layer. So I have two of these arrows. The topmost one, the duplicate, is now selected. So I'll go straight to edit and then transform path and then flip horizontal. Holding the shift key, I'm going to move this out so that I'm going to get the full size of my arrow. Now these are overlapping slightly. That's exactly as they should do. I'm going to reselect this top arrow. I'm going down to the path selection tool here, this black arrow tool. I'm going to choose edit and then cut. Now if this happens to you and it turns black, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. Just trash that layer, you don't want it. And then make sure that you have targeted this layer here that actually is the second of these shapes. We'll go to the paths palette. You'll see here that the arrow is selected here. And we'll just choose edit and then paste. And that pastes that second arrow into the exact same path as the first one. We need these two arrows in the same path. Then we'll come up here to the options bar and you'll see the options bar because you have this path selection tool selected. You'll click on this option here and choose merge shape components and click yes. And here in the Paths palette, you should see that you have a single path. It's not two paths that are sort of overlapping. It's all one path. So it's still with this selected, we're going to choose Edit and then Custom Shape. And we're going to call this Long Arrow. Now you can create a brand new document to test this out. The beauty of custom shapes in Photoshop is that they are stored inside Photoshop, although you will want to back them up in case you have to reset your Photoshop preferences at any time. Down the very end here is my long arrow. If I just hold the mouse pointer over it, you'll see it's called long arrow and I can just drag it out now to create a long double headed arrow in any document at any time in future in Adobe Photoshop. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.